Oh, come on, I'm gonna do better than that. Give me some love one more time. Alright, they better than the church, huh? Right? But anyway, you know, since uh, this is the last season, so I feel I go out with a bang. This piece I did, you know, and one famous style, you know, I decided to do it one more time. It's called My Love Lady. This goes out to all the ladies, both young and old. So I have a little old school, but a little new school. <clears throat> I want you to bite my lip until I can no longer speak. And suck my ex-girlfriend's name out of my mouth so it never again comes up in our conversations. To be honest, I'm not a love poet. In fact, every time I try to write about love, my hands will hurt and cramp up just to so show me how painful love can be. And sometimes my pants will write off an ink or my pants will break. Just to show me that love just takes just a little behind me. I know that love is blind, so because of that, I'll write my poems with my eyes closed or try to imagine my words in my sleep and write them down the next morning. And sometimes my poems will never have an ending because I know that real love is endless. To be honest, I'm not a love poet, but I always believe that true love is like a virgin mom before it is exploited and brought into the world of joyous and sin, pure and imperfect, just the way that God intended to be. I'll be honest, I'm really not a love poet. I'll say this again. But if I was to wake up tomorrow morning and decide to write about love, my very first poem would be about you. <laughs> Mm. I was writing about how I felt about you was the very first time I learned how to ride a bike. Scared as hell. <laughs> but recklessly, I rode that bike with no elbow or knee pads just so that I let my scars and my bruises tell the story of how I felt for you. <clears throat> I'll, make, I'll say this one more time. I'm really not a love boy. But. If I was a little boy, I'd write about how I see your face in every cloud, in your reflection, in every window. I'll write like a million poems, hoping that it'll pop out the screen and take a picture of my heart and put it on the TV screen, I like guess in 3D, so that you will be right here with me. I swear that if you were here with me right now, I would massage your back until your skin sings songs your lips don't even know the words to. <laughs> I will, until your heart beats, will make the sound just like my last name, and you will, and you will smile like Pacific Ocean, and I'll be able to taste the very essence of beauty in your skin. If I was a love poet, I'll write about how you had the audacity to be beautiful, even on days when everything around you may seem ugly. I'll write about how your eyelashes to me are like beautiful violin strings that play symphonies every time you blink. I'll write about how I melted like an ice sculpture when I first saw you in that dazzling sparkle in your eye. Every time I hear the vibration of your voice and whenever I see your name on my caller ID, my heart will play hopscotch inside of my chest and climb onto my ribs like monkey bars and I will feel like a child all over again. Now I know this may seem strange, but sometimes I pray that God turns you back into one of my ribs just so that I will never have to spend an entire day without I may not be a love poet, but if I was to wake up tomorrow morning and decide to write about love, my very first poem, as I say again, would be about you. So if you were to ask me how I feel about you, I'll give you this answer. Put it like this. I want to be your ex-boyfriend stuntman. Do all the things that he was too crazy and coward to do, like trust you, love you, I am, and cherish you the way a guy like me would do so. If I could, I would sample all of your pictures. I want to, and some days, I would want to swallow stacks of your pictures just so that you would never be part with me. I swear that the very second and the very day that our lips will touch, I'll be able to taste and imagine the next couple years of my life. If I could, I would sample your smile and let my heart beat be the baseline in which you create the world's greatest love song of all time whenever we sit or stand next to each other. A love in which I'll be your at last by Ed James. Your boo child when you're sad and in pain, your candy cup of drops of rain, and your first, your last, and your everything. From the love that God shines us with daily, I will love you enough for you to be more than just my lady. 
and together we will be music. And whenever my friends would ask me if you're my girl, I would say no, because you're more than that. For she is my musician and me, I'm her favorite song and number one example. Thank you.